Hello, welcome back to Time Not Try Me Tries to Beat Income Content. Today we are trying Lindworm Descended Annihilation. I'm trying with a guide that I don't want to call it a farming team, it's just a team that can one shot the boss. Um, as you might notice, I did make light ideal for this. Actually, I need to do. Let me check, fix one thing. Um, you may have seen the team, and I'm going to explain it a little bit as I go. I'm going to put a board change on her. Who is a board change with light? Uh, we'll just put, uh, who's it? Uh, <laughs> we'll just put on this. This should give a good amount of things. Right. Sure, why not? I don't feel like looking for something else right now, so we're gonna, we're using DQXQ. That's where you're going. So, I did make Light Ideal for this. I'm using Light Badri Yaksa to not have to do fall attacks. I do a full jammer resist on in the form of BAM and the form of BAM. I also have, uh, what else do I have? Light Ideal with Triple Dragon Killers, hopefully that's enough to kill, and a bunch of other double seven stuff. I wish you were Cloud Resist. That is not Cloud Resist. Uh, the one thing this team is missing is Cloud Resist. Let me, I, how do I see, is there a list of Super Awakenings? I don't think you can see Super Awakenings, whatever. That's like the one annoying thing that needs fixing is on this team is that the video I'm following from the guide I'm following, which I'll link below, does actually have a uh, cloud resist, and I do not. So that is not good for me. Uh, we don't need to stall, so I'm not going to. We're just gonna. Oh, I think we do need to stall because actually we don't have enough to light. Uh, too late. I already committed to not stalling. So I should have saved lights there, but water off uh, doesn't matter. I'll just pop Pralne, I think. Doesn't really matter. Let's just pop Pralne. Why not? Why not? I ended up with one extra act skill last time, so I don't know, just pop more this time. And I did try this already, I did not win. I almost won. Uh, it turns out that whatever I was using on, I don't know. I was close to winning, but I did not win. Don't match like that, don't blob me up. You don't need to blob me. So the number of actives you'll need, I guess, kind of depends on when you get a lot of lights. Like at this point here, I don't need to pop anything because I have so many lights already. This guy also only has, uh, she was fought only as like 10 million uh, health. So it's very little, so we can just last through without really thinking about. As long as we have um, enough lights, I don't even think we need to make all of our combos here. I was like, try to get the reds over, it's like, yeah, it's just. Bam. Good to go. We also have six hearts here, so we don't need to pop. I didn't bring a bind clear active. That's what the guide has that I don't have as well. But I kind of found that having the um, bind clear awakening on something is good enough. Uh, for example, I will just do this. I should be fine. Oh, I didn't match the things right in the bottom, but whatever, it doesn't matter. Uh, <laughs> This, we might need, we could pop the con at some point here. I'm just gonna firstly match um, nothing. To, yeah. At this point, let's just uh, try to remove some of the more annoying colors. Let's just come here. Let's trust in the power of light ideal with three dragon killer latents and hope that that is enough to save our day. Except I didn't match seven combos. Oh, I did now, so it's fine. Uh, I had a long day before this. Don't kill me. 
I didn't stall on that because he's not up yet. Fun! I don't think we need him right this moment, actually. I think we can actually kill... I should just stall one more turn on that guy, I guess, but... I don't know. Not... I'm not a scientist. Actually, I... I am a computer scientist, but... I think this Hino will actually die anyway, so it doesn't really matter. And I can pop him. You know what? It might work better this way. It might work, it might work better this way. Not too good a lie. So what we're gonna do is uh, hopefully not die here. You know what? We can maybe stall one extra turn here. Let's see. How do we topple? I'm gonna bank on a fact that he's not gonna kill us immediately. We're just gonna hope he doesn't. And you know what? I'm actually gonna I'm gonna pop him now. I don't feel like risking the cloud stuff and my own, you know, my comboing skills or whatever, so we're just gonna get a shield up and pop the yog next to him. Hope it Well, he put it more cloud, so it didn't really matter in the end. Let's just do this. Uh, again, like I mentioned, this part's annoying, because I don't have power with and I thought that we would have been fine, but apparently we're not fine. So there's a lot of hearts in a random place. Heart, heart. Two hearts there. So this whole bit is hearts. So heart, heart, and then bam, 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 bam. So I think what we're going to do is um, pick up we'll go like this first to lock those in place and like, I don't know. Whew, look at us go. Look at us go. I actually did it on purpose that time. I didn't do it last time. And this is the part where we just hope that it works out, because we don't know the future. We have Yusuke to unlock our orbs, give us lots of lights, hopefully, yes. And here's where we hope that we kill. I have so many things against this guy, like, I have two double sevens, a triple seven, the double sevens have two to three dragon killers as the triple seven, and double devil killers on Pralene. Hopefully all of that together is enough. And if I have enough lights, I may as well um, even make one light row because apparently I have a light row with me. Like, actually, um, no, it's just too I was like, I, think I thought about it and then I stopped thinking about it. These guys. Okay, he actually died this time. Last time I did this, he left, he was left with a tiny bit of green health. Okay, well that took way too many tries. Don't ask me how many tries this took. Can we get a lindworm? Now there is a video on this guide that shows a way to do Yogg single player farming. Ooh, he's cool. Is that? He's kind of rainbowy. I like that. Alright, he lost the rainbows in this form. You know what? I'll just I'll keep one. Nice to keep one of everything, you know? He was double machine killers, which is cool, and uh that's it. So the dungeon right now has a I believe it's a times three skill upgrade or something. Um yeah, so you could probably, there is a, you know what, let's see, let me click on it really quick. I actually don't think I can do it because I don't have, oh, maybe I can do it. I think if you do mythical, it should be a lot easier, so I might try that. Uh, I could probably, like I mentioned, I think I had like maybe too many, um, I had too many, an excess of some stuff. Sorry, I got sidetracked watching the video. Anyways, uh, you c if you include Lindworm in your party, there's a time to skill up rate, so there's a higher chance of skill up. You know, you might skill him up naturally if you want to grind for him. As for if he's worth grinding for, um, I don't know. It's up to you. I think he's not the best. 
he's okay for the double machine killers and he uses uh <laughs> this is not my favorite but you could skill him up like that if you want to Whew, another 30 turn they're giving these descent bosses with that which have a lot of turns to max skill level anyways that's it for this video i'll see you in the next video good luck you can probably do a co-op much easier i just want to try solo just video so good luck see you next video goodbye